Hi guys, today we're going to talk about sum if, count if, and average if functions. So these are one level higher than just regular sum, regular count, and regular average, if you will. Because in these cases, we're going to put a limitation on what is going to be summed, what is going to be counted, and what is going to be averaged based on some other criteria. In this case, I created a data set over here. Here are the sales of some item, and here is the different types of items. Okay, so these are the, all the sales, and these are the different types of items. You can think of it that way. Okay, so we let's say this list is very very long and thousands of lines long. We do not want to go in piece by piece and add up the A's. and add up the B's and add up the C's or count the A's, count the B's, count the C's or average the A's and so on, right? We want a function that's gonna, we're just gonna be able to highlight these ranges and it's gonna automatically give us these results, okay? So let's start with the SUMIF function, okay? So right here, we're gonna get the sum of type A, okay? So we're gonna start out by typing equals sum if and the syntax for this is that first we're going to highlight the type range or the criteria range. Okay? And I always like to lock that with an F4 on the keyboard. Okay? Comma, what is the criteria? And here, because it's it is a character or text, we have to put it in quotations. So we want it to sum only the A's comma, the third part is the sum range, which is going to be our sales. So you highlight the entire sales. And then hit F4 for that, because I like to lock everything with these kind of formulas. Close the parentheses, hit Enter, and we get 232. So it added up all the A cells, and it got us 232. That would have taken considerably more time if it was done manually. We'll do the same thing for B equals sum if I'll do this a little faster highlight the range of the criteria f4 comma specify the criteria which in this case is b and comma highlight sales f4 close parentheses enter and this one I'm going to even do faster you can just watch gives us 217. So that's the sum if function. Now the count if. Very similar. Once you get one of these, you can get the others. Count if is even simpler because it doesn't it's not even concerned with the sales column. It only is going to require you to input the type column. So, we're going to highlight the type column, hit F4 to lock it, comma, and put our criteria. In this case, we wanted to count the number of A's. So there's only two things, arguments, in the syntax for the COUNTIF function. And it gives us six A's. Again, highlight the type, lock it with F4, comma, B. And there's six B's. And finally, you can just follow along, highlight. F4 and we want the C's. Ah, you see, I didn't close that parent, that quotation, and it automatically did it up here. So, and there's five type C's. So all in all, there are six, 17 uh, total observations here, which we can check by highlighting here and coming to the bottom right, and we see that there's actually 18. Now, why is that? Well, guess what? There's a D in here, which I did not count. So, because these add to 17, and these, as we can just highlight and glance quickly for a check, and look down here on the bottom right, I'm over here, is 18. I knew there was something fishy going on, and it happened to be that there was a D in there. Now, if I were to switch that D to an A, let's say, 
we would ex before I push enter nothing's going to happen but we would expect this to go up one and we would expect the sum also to change and it did okay now it was a little mistake but actually it was a good lesson okay so now let's do average if average if works very similar to sum if except it's going to average okay so first we're going to highlight the criteria range lock it comma specify our criteria in this case we want the average of type a and comma last argument is the actual sales f4 to lock that close parentheses and our average sales of type a are forty dollars and eighty six cents if you round to the hundredth place okay let's do the same thing for b equals average if open parentheses highlight the criteria range f4 comma specify criteria b comma and then highlight the sales range f4 to lock it close enter and finally let's do this one quick for c f4 comma specify c comma highlight the sales f4 close parentheses and that's the average of type C. So we saw the sum if, the count if, and the average if. And this gives you another layer, another tool whenever you encounter a situation where the data is kind of lumped up together and you need to extract the information that you're interested from it without going through it line by line. I hope this was helpful. Check out my other videos, Excel tutorials, subscribe to my channel, comment, like, and share. Until next time, practice, practice, practice. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a great day.